is Bobby Venom from Cats and VR, and I'm here at SVVR 2016 talking with Daniel Allen from Block Interval, and they've come up with a really awesome game. I'm super excited for it because I'm into cute creatures and Flight Navigator as well. Uh, it's called Life of Lon, a VR story game. Tell me a little bit about this and how's it come upon? Sure. Uh, it is a as uh, as we said, it was a it's a VR story game. Uh, it, I would describe it as journey esque if you like the game Journey, uh, in that it is story driven and the story kind of unfolds around you as you play the game. Uh, we've taken a very much a show don't tell approach. It has an original score and uh, all original artwork and everything. And uh, our, our, our design approach has been very human-centric, so we've been focused on creating a very comfortable student locomotion experience uh, that will be accessible to all ages and hopefully people who are new to VR as well. And uh, it has a very smooth uh, uh, learning curve as far as uh, locomotion and controls and things like that. And of course you get the journey with our friend Yep here. Oh, and, who can uh, say Yep? Adorable. You have to say Yep to Yep. You have to say Yep to Yep. Um, and uh, so w this is a project that's uh, being built by a team of outsiders who have learned how to build for VR and we've got a uh, user experience background, many of us do, and um, our, our goal is to uh, find the right uh, partner to help us fund the project so we can quit our day jobs and work on this full time. That's exciting. So you guys are not coming from a gaming background. Well, we all come from a gaming background. Okay. And, and uh, I used to work for Discovery, and uh, I, I okay. played uh, learning games for kids and things like that. Nice. Uh, a number of different genres. Uh, but uh, we've never, none of us have made anything of quite of this scale. Um, and we're really excited about how it's uh, coming together. So what platforms can people see this for? We're shooting for cross-platform release. Okay. So this would be uh, the uh, Oculus Rift, HTC Vive, and PSVR eventually. Oh, wow, fantastic. Yes. Um, that would make you put in as many homes as possible. Yep. Um, when can people perhaps see this? Well, that's going to depend on funding, uh, but we do want to release our trailer that we are showing here this summer. Uh, we have some polish to do, fit and finish, um, and uh, we, we're, we're um, definitely going to be putting it into players' hands this summer, but uh, the goal would be to release episodically as a three-act uh, game, uh, starting with the first release uh, next year. Okay. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. As I said, it references to Flight of the Navigator, Never Ending Story. It's it legitimately has a creature, a cute cuddly creature, uh, and but it's it's beautiful. It's Thank beautiful. Um, I just in, uh, one of the things when they. Depth in, uh, plunged into the depths. I legitimately closed my eyes. Yeah. I was like, "Whoa, wait, 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 wait! It's not even real. That's right, funny, right. but is it really?" Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I'll, for right now, until the game is finished, funded, and everything, where can people find out more about Life of Lawn? You can go to lifeoflawn.com. There's a really uh, rich uh, website experience that you can try out. Uh, there's also blockinterval.com, and we post all kinds of updates uh, and articles on uh, our research and findings. So if you're building for VR, you might want to go to our blog and update section. You can also follow us on Twitter, uh, twitter.com slash blockinterval. And uh, we have Facebook, so we're on facebook.com slash blockinterval and facebook.com slash lifeblog. Well, Daniel, thank you for your time. Um, I'm sure all these people are enjoying it as much as I did. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this uh, game, and thank you very much. Thank you, Cats and VR. <laughs>